Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over how to rip your Xbox 360 games with an unmodded console, as well as how to convert them into the three formats used by modded consoles and the Xbox 360 emulator, Xenia. This method will work for the vast majority of games, but it is worth noting that some games must be dumped with a modded console or a special disk drive. It's also worth noting that if you have an RGH or JTAG system, you may find it easier to just copy over the files from the disk using the browser on your console. I'm not going to go into detail about how to put these games on a modded console, since that process is different for each mod and dashboard, but I will do my best to give a high-level overview of each format as we go along. To get started, you'll need to have an unmodded Xbox or a modded Xbox running the default dashboard. You'll also need a USB drive formatted to FAT32, a PC, and of course the game disc you want to rip. You'll also want to download GOD to ISO and the Xbox ISO Extraction Tool if you want to convert your games to ISOs or XEXs. If you want to convert your ISOs back to GODs, you'll also want a program called ISO to GOD. You'll find links to everything you need down in the description. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me. When you're ready to go, plug your USB drive into your console and insert your game disc into the drive. Then let's go to the Xbox dashboard. If you plan on ripping multiple games, you can jump over to the settings, go into system, then console settings, and then scroll down to autoplay. Turning this off will save you time as you swap out discs. You can also format your USB drive if you haven't already. Just head back to system settings and then go into storage. From here, select your USB drive, hit Y, and select format. Back out on the home tab, select your game, and hit X. Go ahead and hit install and select your USB drive. Give it a few minutes to write the files and when it's done you can shut down your console. If you only see an option to delete the game that means it's currently installed on your hard drive. You'll need to delete the game in order to reinstall it on your USB drive. Some games come on multiple DVDs with DLC or other data that needs to be installed. To get these files you'll need to install the discs to your hard drive just like you normally would. Once it's done, go back to the dashboard and head to Settings, System, and then Storage. Go into your hard drive, and then the Games and Apps folder. Find your game in here, and select it. Then locate the downloaded data, and move the files over to your USB drive. Now that you've ripped your game, head over to your computer and plug in your USB drive. When you open it up, you should see this content folder. If you don't, Go up to the View tab and make sure that Hidden Items is selected. Inside this content folder, you'll find whatever games you've ripped to this drive, organized by Game ID. The quickest way I've found to match a game with its ID is to search the Game ID on the Xbox DB website, which is linked below. I'm going to move this game folder to my desktop for the sake of this video. Inside the game folder, you'll find at least one subdirectory. The folder called 0004000 is for your game files, while 0000002 is for installed content like DLC. Inside of the game data folder, you'll find a folder with a long name and an identically named 44 kilobyte file. This game is in the Games On Demand or GOD format, which is usable on RGH and JTAG consoles as well as Xenia. To launch the game in Xenia, all you need to do is open the 44 kilobyte file within the emulator. If you're on a console, you'll usually want to put these games in the content section of your hard drive, although some dashboards will allow you to launch them from elsewhere. Now let's convert this GOD file over to an ISO. ISOs are usable with Xenia, as well as consoles modded with an X key. You can also burn them to a disk and use them on consoles with a flash drive. Converting games to ISOs is also necessary if you want your games in the XEX format. Note that if your game has a second install disk or DLC disk, you only need to make an ISO from the game disk. Just make sure you use a program like Velocity or XM360 to put the content in the correct location in your Xbox's hard drive or your Xenia directory. Go ahead and open up GOD to ISO and click the Add button once it's up. Find your games folder and open up that 44 kilobyte file inside of it. Now just hit browse and tell the program where you want your ISO to go. I'm going to put mine in a folder on my desktop. Once everything is set, hit the go button and give it a minute to do its thing. If you have an ISO that you want to convert into a GOD, you can use ISO to GOD. 
Just hit Add ISO and then browse for your ISO file. Once you've found it, just tell the program where to put the GOD files. This program has a neat feature that will remove some of the excess data that's used as padding to fill the game disk. If you want to save a rebuilt, smaller version of your ISO along with the GOD files, just tell the program where to put it. If you just want your GOD files, turn the padding removal mode to None. When you're all set, hit Add ISO to add it to the queue, then just hit Convert to start the process. The final format we'll cover is XEX, which allows for full access to the game's data files. Like a rebuilt ISO, this format also removes any excess padding from the game's data, so it's a great way to save space on a crowded drive. However, just like the GOD format, these games will only work with an RGH or JTAG console or Xenia. To start the process, open up the Xbox ISO extraction tool. Hit Choose ISO folder, then select the folder where your ISO is, and hit OK. Any ISOs inside of that folder will populate in this upper field. Now hit Choose Destination, and tell the program where you want your game files to go. A folder will automatically be created for the XEX files. It will have the same name as your ISO folder, so be sure to make a new folder if you plan on putting them in the same directory. If you forget to do this, the application will skip right over that ISO. When you're all set, make sure your ISO is selected, and hit Go. Once again, give it a few minutes, and you can close out when it's done. Looking at your new game folder, you can see the data files as well as a file called default.xex. This is the file you'll want to load from your console or Xenia to start up the game. So I think that covers just about everything. As far as I know, there's no way to go directly from a GOD to XEX, or from XEX to any other format. So just keep this in mind as you clean up your game files. If you have any questions about the process, drop a comment below or reach out on my Discord channel. As always, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button to see more tutorials and emulation videos from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.